This video is about deriving the Schrodinger's wave equation. In the previous video, we talked about what does this equation mean. Now, in this video, we will derive this equation. So, to start the derivation, you have to say like for a wave propagating in positive x direction, the wave function is like this. That is a e raised to the power minus iota omega t minus x upon v. Now, you have to put the value of omega that is this 2 pi nu. Nu goes in here. So, nu t and nu goes in here. We get nu upon v. Also, we know that nu into lambda is equal to v. So, nu upon v is equal to 1 upon lambda. So, we just chunk it in here. So, now we know that E is equal to H nu. And there is an entity H cut which is really important in quantum mechanics because H upon 2 pi appears a lot. So, we represent it by H cut. So, H in terms of H cut is this and if you put in here, we get 2 pi H cut new okay so the thing in here is that we have to convert this one in form of energy and momentum to get p square psi and e psi because for a total energy equation we have these terms p square psi and e psi and we have to put this in here so we have new in here and 2 pi in here we need h cut so we will multiply and divide by h cut also in here we have to convert it into momentum form so we know that lambda is equal to h upon p so p is equal to h upon lambda and h is 2 pi h so we will just take lambda in here and p in here and this equation will be converted to this this h cut came in here that is because we multiplied and divide by h cut now if you have reached in here you are at the verge of deriving the Schrodinger's wave equation take a double derivative of this with respect to space that is with respect to x now you have to take derivative really carefully because some students miss the positive or negative sign. Take a look at in here. This whole term a e raised for minus iota this thing will remain like this because constant times the e and e has the derivative which is e. So we will get a psi. Now we have to differentiate this. Now here e t is dependent on time not on x. So we will get a 0. Also here we will get the derivative of x that is 1. So we will get a minus p and this minus minus becomes plus. So we will get iota p divided by h cut. Now if we double differentiate this, we will get this term again that is iota p divided by h cut. Now iota times iota is minus 1. So we will get a minus p square divided by h cut square psi. Now similarly if we differentiate it with respect to time, we will get this that is minus iota by h cut e times this whole thing that is psi right so now we just need p square psi and e psi keep that here and take everything else after the equal to now we know that the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus potential energy in case you are wondering how this is kinetic energy it's really simple that is half mv square is the kinetic energy you know multiply and divide by m we get m square v square divided by 2m and m square v square is p square so we get kinetic energy as p square by 2m multiply whole this by psi okay and we get this thing in here put e psi and p square psi that you got there and you will get this equation and this is the Schrodinger wave equation really easy now this is one dimensional case if we have to convert it into three dimensional this thing will split into three that is x y and z axis now if you want to derive a time independent version what you need to do is this just remove this time thing from here and you will get the time independent version that is this that is e psi is equal to minus h cut square by 2m del square psi by del x square plus u psi this is really important because we use this equation a lot that is a time independent version so i hope you know how to derive the Schrodinger wave equation now give it a try do it on a copy and then and if you have any difficulties ask in the comments down below so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything